So now we've discussed using this step sequencer right here. This would be called the step sequencer. Uh, now we want to go a bit more in detail. Uh, instead of making a very simple one like this, uh, in the pattern mode, we want to be using the piano roll. So I use the piano roll for everything. I never use the step sequencer to be honest, uh, because it's very it's good for generating some typical standard drum ideas but if you want more detail in your ideas you want to use a piano roll so what we want to do first is go to this kick or any any of these sounds that you have I, I like to start with the kick and we will right click and go to piano roll so here this is a new interface which is the piano roll and you will spend a lot of time here when producing so as I mentioned before with the comma this is uh, C5 and this is the where you should be putting your drums uh, typically so this is to keep it in the same the same pitch same tone uh, if you see if I play it if I click here to play and I play on a different number or a different letter a different notes then it will sound different the pitch will be lower or the pitch will be higher so if we have a listen so you see that the drum changes completely so if you want that sound like a lower pitch sound then sure you can do it or a higher pitch sound of course but uh, to keep the standard drum you want to keep it on C5 right so if I use this at the top here and I use it to zoom in so we can see our uh, bar one right this is for the first bar we can see it uh, closer so it's very similar to the step sequencer as you could place one like this uh, and we can use the play so you can hear that it's very similar to that step sequencer right that we can place it every uh, four inside this first bar so it has that uh, standard normal rhythm uh, but you can see that you can do a lot more detail here you can shorten the sound you can make it longer you can do quite a few different things uh, so let's say I wanted two right here then one and then two again and one and this is half time right we shorten this uh, into half time so there will be two like this yeah so we can do something like that uh, we also have this thing at the bottom of the screen it's quite difficult uh, to access you need to to find the um, you'll find this icon which you can see on my screen right now and this means to you need to drag left click and drag up and you can open this velocity control now what this means is the velocity is how strong the, or weak the sound will be so if you want it to be maximum strength you can put this to 100 and if you have a listen you can hear the first two are sounding much stronger than the others or I can put it lower and we'll hear the velocity change so this is very useful for drums to make it more creative create more creative patterns and uh, if you want to reset this velocity back to the original you can hold alt alt on your keyboard and then left click uh, left click anywhere um, around around this uh, up and down on this uh, bar right here or this line uh, just left click and it will reset it so you could left click up here and it will re reset to the original okay uh, so this would be a basic way of using this piano roll so if we add this rim we can go to piano roll for the rim and maybe I want a rim here I want a rim here and I want one at the end so let's have a listen to this now uh, and because we are on pattern mode and we have the kick and the rim in the same pattern right they are both in drums we will hear both of them playing at the same time so let's have a listen to this okay 
So yeah, sounds pretty. I like this. I like this beat. It's quite a nice rhythm. And then we can go to our closed hi hats piano roll, and we see. I want to add one here, 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 and here. So let's have a listen to this. Oh, or maybe I will use the velocity, change the velocities for a bit more variety. Uh, so I will put these two a uh, bit quieter or weaker, right? It's like you're hitting the drum but weaker. So it's like a soft one, then a harder, and a soft one, and harder. Okay, so let's have a listen. Okay, so this would be your basic pattern right here in the piano roll. And then this pattern, of course, we can add it to our, add it right here. Uh, oh, and another important thing to note, you can see that uh, this is only half of one bar. Right, so you want to be adding uh, more, you know, using this paint, make sure you, you are on paint, left click and drag. Uh, you can hear in the song mode, right, if you want to play it here, it needs to be in song mode. We have listen. We can play two. Yeah, so this would be uh, again the very basics of using the piano roll to create more creative sounds. Uh, we also have a few other features I will mention right now, um, such as chopping. So uh, first, highlighting two clips. If you hold Control and you left click and drag, you can select one. You can select multiple clips from. Uh, they could be on different anywhere maybe these we want to select these we hold control and left click and drag to select those uh, and if we want to select another maybe we want to select this first one too we cannot press control and left click it will remove these up here so what you must do is control shift left click and control shift left click will include the new ones too so uh, maybe I want to include these three at the end as well. I can control shift left click and drag and it will include them and everything else. And then to remove your selection you can right click. Right click anywhere will remove all of your selection. So uh, let's say I wanted to select these three and change their velocity to all be the same. Uh, somewhere lower I can hold shift and drag across and it will make them all the same so a shift shift and drag let's say up here or shift and drag left click drag here shift left click drag here yeah and it will make them all the same so and all, of course we can select all with uh, control left click and then I can use alt to put them back to the original okay so there are many many shortcuts like that uh, and we can have one final listen to this, how it will sound, in the uh, pattern mode. Okay, so this is the basics of using the piano roll. <laughs> 